October. We all have the right to write Eric Bickle, to Boris Johnson, to everybody to tell them we don't want this here. We want a real development. It has all the things that we asked for and dog racing back here. Thank you very much. Yay! I can tell you that I'm absolutely, completely and utterly gutted that it's shut. And it, uh, for the moment, it doesn't look like it's going to reopen. But we'll still fight the campaign. But there's so much history there. Even even the, the, the fabric of the building, it, it's brilliant. Nobody realises there's Art Deco in, in the, the top dining hall. And... It's just that the atmosphere in Walthamstow, absolutely brilliant. One of the things I've always said is wherever I've travelled in the world, and I've been quite a few places and whatever, you, you know, you ever mention Greyhound Racing, the first thing they ever, most people have said, oh, Walthamstow Stadium, right? So, you know, it's very iconic, in, and obviously from the community point of view, it was one of their centres of, of, of their leisure in, in, in the county, or in the town sort of thing, you know? The stadium is iconic and it's a landmark and if it's like um, football without Wembley, tennis without Wimbledon, that's how much. Everything is central to Walthamstow. Um, the whole of the Irish Greyhound scene is based upon Walthamstow. So i.e. since Walthamstow has closed, the numbers of breeding in the kennels has drastically reduced because all the high rollers and the big spenders were at Walthamstow. You had um, the restaurant you couldn't get into for about four to five months. It really was full, fully booked and it, uh, it catered for the Royal Ascot of Greyhound Racing. It was that kind of clientele where no other track can, can match that. It's important that the stadium remains open, not only for the people that actually live in the area, it's for the jobs, it's the social life, and to be honest, it's, a way, it's been a way of life a long time for a lot of East End people. Graham racing is in our, in our veins. You never had the atmosphere that Walthamstow had because you had the old, it was like 1930s, 1935 being in the Gladiator Arena when Walthamstow was going on because all the you're in the velodrome right in the middle and all the sound would go up everything it was so 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 different to any Greyhound track that's why Walthamstow was the number one the world's number one and always will be I myself gave up a lot for this um, I gave up my job I gave up um, absolutely everything I had and put every historic thing behind this campaign uh, since it started. I was the one that first raised my head above the parapet on Sky Television to, to launch it um, and I feel I've learnt a lot from the campaign. I've learnt a lot how unjust um, public bodies can be, how public bodies can help one another overcome a mistake. It's great to see everybody that that came to the the demo that day, um, and Teddy Sheringham and Vicky Michelle came and they supported us. We've been really well supported by all the local community and from people uh, in Greyhound Racing. Um, and it's Saturdays is always an awkward day for people with with Greyhounds because we're usually racing on Saturday evening, and you feed your dogs and that sort of thing. So. But it was good to see the majority of them there. It's terrible, really. But there. You know, we're, we're, we're fighting still. And um, Gail's taking out a judicial review, the residents, so hopefully something can come of that. Yeah. But if not, you know, I just despair. Don't know what we're going to do. <coughs> so, and that, that yeah, honestly, that kills me. When I think about it, you know, it just, the loss of the dogs. And because on Friday, we had more bad news, they're closing Oxford. So, yeah, and then Wimbledon that. will be closing. That's where Rick's contracted to at the moment.